Hello ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the free stuff, or all the free stuff I got from Eurogamer Expo yesterday. Uh, I went on the Friday in case you're wondering what day that was. And uh, yeah, in front of me I've got a massive just table covered in stuff and I've got some shirts and posters and stuff over there which I'll show you. So yeah, it's going to be great. Okay, the first thing I got, I got even before I even went inside of the expo which was in Earl's Court in London. Um, there were these people outside with like megaphones talking about like DRM and stuff and they were handing out t-shirts. And this is the t-shirt they handed out to me. I don't know if you can see, you should be able to see all of that. It says, join the DRM, the jo the bit bit bit. Join the No DRM Revolution, and it's got like a big fist on it, because, you know, it's a revolution thing, but yeah, that's that. And there's one other shirt I got, which I want to show you, which was which I got when I went inside the expo this time, by people advertising this game, what's this? Carn Carnage Racing, there we go. So that's the Carnage Racing shirt which is nice and they were all free they just went around literally handing out like goodies and just boxes and shirts and posters and stuff speaking of posters here is a destiny poster from the destiny area I guess the zone I don't know so yeah it's got the like cover art on the front there and then on the back it's got have one of the three classes you can play in Destiny. And the one I picked up was a Warlock class poster, so yeah, that's quite nice. So yeah, I'll hang that up for sure, that's really good. Everything else is just on the table here, so I'll try to show you as best as possible. One of the things I did when I went there is I tried out the Oculus Rift, and that was a queue that went on for like, I don't know, an hour and a half maybe, two hours, something like that. Very, very long queue, but we went early in the morning, so there were loads of people there waiting. And so anyway, we waited there, went on the Oculus Rift. About one minute or two minutes on the Oculus Rift. Didn't matter, it was still amazing, like absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, it's just so immersive, you know, you get in it, you look around. Your character looks around, it feels like you're actually in there. It's all up to your face, so you can't see anything from outside. But yeah, basically we got stickers uh, from the Oculus Rift booth. This one says this, it says like, it's like Oculus Rift loves virtual reality or whatever, I don't know. So there's that, there's this one which just says virtual reality Oculus VR. And then there's this one which is the Oculus Rift logo, which is the eye. Which is quite nice. Another thing I got was, uh, there was a surgeon, because this was all about a surgeon simulator, because it's basically just a viral game, so everyone's like, hey, everyone loves surgeon simulator. Let's go around giving out freebies about it and advertising and stuff. So this is the Surgeon Simulator stuff I got. I got this, which is probably one of my favourite things I got the whole time I was there. Which is like a Surgeon Simulator 2013. I don't know if you can see that, but it says there, Surgeon Simulator 2013. And it's filled with like red liquid. And it's like a syringe shaped like pen. So you can like click that down. And then... You know, it's just pretty cool. It's a pretty cool free goody thing. It's awesome. Really cool design idea or whatever, I don't know. It's just really creative and awesome. And then also I got this, which was like a... They had a prize draw, the people from Surgeon Simulator. And you could pick up like these cards and scratch it off and then see what you won. And I won 25% off the uh, retail version of Surgeon Simulator 2013 on Steam. So I'm going to use that to get St uh, Surgeon Simulator soon. I'm going to cover the code, but I don't know if you can see, but yeah. That was that. And yeah, they had five Q-pad games, accessory bundles, packs to give away or whatever. I, can't, I don't know what that is, never heard of those, but that's cool I guess. Uh, also, when I was there, obviously this year, it's all about Xbox One versus PS4. 
at the moment I'm playing on an Xbox 360 which is over there, my TV and my PlayStation 2 because I haven't got any of PlayStation since that. This year though, Xbox One is just a disappointment to this um, I just we couldn't be bothered because it was me, I went for some friends, we just couldn't be bothered to queue for the Xbox One. So we queued for the PS4 instead and so we got these nice like things to go around your neck. It says PS4, I played first, I played hashtag PS4 first at Eurogamer Expo 2013, which is pretty nice. It says Eurogamer Expo on the back, and it has a nice sort of like pattern there, so that goes on, you know, like that, which is nice, and you have to wear these to go around in the PS4 booth to show that you'd waited in the queue or whatever. So those are awesome. Now I don't know what game this is from, but I know what game studio it's from. It's from J Jagex Jagex Game Studio, I think. And it's got like a little, it's like a tank rubber keychain thing. I'll hold this up so you can try and get a better look at that. But yeah, that's nice. Really cool little keyring. Really cool design. There was a Mountain Dew booth at the expo, like in the middle, sort of, and they were handing out, like, they got like plastic cups and just poured Mountain Dew in them and then handed them out for free and stuff, so if you needed a drink, you just get some Mountain Dew, uh, which is good because it keeps you energised through the whole day or whatever, and they had like little uh, badge thingies, so this is the Mountain Dew the badge I got, I'm trying to, there we go. So that's that. And it says on the side, it says, uh, oh God. You have to join their Facebook page or group or whatever to find out how you can win an Xbox One. Also, when I was there, I got. But well, basically, we, you could get your picture taken in front of this big statue sort of thing at the Destiny booth, and we got that taken. And then afterwards, they handed us out these, like, packages which are filled with uh, little, well not little, they're quite large, uh, postcards with different like um, patterns on the front, so this is what the back of the postcards look like, that, and then you've got this one, which is basically like the cover art, and we've got this one, I can't remember what it's called, but it says Fallen there in the corner, these are like some of the en enemies you fight. This is the sort of guy we stood in front of, like it was a statue of this sort of guy from the game, we just stood in front of that and then they took a photo. And then there's this one which says cable, or cable on the front of it, I don't know what that is. But that's pretty awesome. So yeah, we got three postcards, quite different art styles, but not art styles, but different images on them. When we went to go and play Elder Scrolls Online, I think? Yeah. Elder Scrolls Online, because obviously that's all Bethesda and Zenimax Studios, and they also do Wolfenstein The New Order. They had like these little sort of like plastic sort of like card, like gift card sort of things that gave you, um, I'm going to cover up that code there again. It's Wolfenstein The New Order, pre-order now and get Return to Castle Wolfenstein for free. So basically you get New Order and you get an old one for free, which is quite sweet, I guess. And so yeah, it has a code on the back of it. It says just enter it when you pre-order um, Wolfenstein New Order at a certain website. I don't know. I've never seen that website before, but oh well. That's awesome, so if I ever want to get that, I can use that and then get another game for free. I think this was about PS4 as well, that we had, they had a Warframe that you could play if you were 18 or something. And so they had these like bandanas they were handing out. Are they called bandanas? When you put them on your head, like tie them around bandanas? I think they are. And it says on the bottom there it says Warframe. And then on the other side it says Ninjas Play Free. And it's got like a nice like pattern on it. So I'm gonna put this on I guess. <laughs> yeah. There were people walking around everywhere just wearing these bandanas saying like Warframe on it or whatever. I don't even know if this looks right. It might look right, it might look wrong. I don't know, I can't see. But yeah. 
It was brilliant. They were handing out these... One of my friends picked up four of these and they were all the same, so we just handed these out between us. They're these Might and Magic Duel of Champions online card game, sort of like... They look like cards or something, but this is what this one looks like. It's like this green guy called the Vampire Knight. Oh, so I guess you have to... Oh, it's like items for the game. So basically, you make an account, you put the code in, and then it'll give you 10,000 gold and two premium reinforcement packs, whatever those are. So yeah, those are pretty cool. There was this guy who handed these things out, which were like... Uh, well, a bit self-explanatory on this, but I guess. It says G is for gamer, and it says like up. Here we go. It says like our page and join our leaderboard for your chance to win a PlayStation 4. This flyer entitles you to 500 XP points, simply message the blah 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 blah. Enter the code Eurogamer, Twitter, Facebook, GSV, GS4 Eurogamer. But yeah. 4 Eurogamer. 4. That's how a 4 was written now. In the retro, sort of like, arcade gaming section, they had these like, gift vouchers that you could uh, pick up for free. So that's funstock.co.uk, gift voucher 10% off everything in store, use code MORFUN, and then has like, you know, Atari, Neo Geo X, Sega, many more, all this sort of stuff, has the Twitter and Facebook on it. Uh, Retro Gaming Heaven, it says on the back, for on the move and all that sort of stuff, and it has all like pictures of the different consoles and characters from old games and stuff like that, like Sonic from Sega, you know, all this sort of stuff. You know, so there's like a SNES on there, or whatever. And the last thing I got, which is quite an awesome thing, they, there was this MMO we came and found, and there was a booth for it called uh, Dragon's Prophet, and it looked pretty awesome. Basically, uh, I don't know what the start of the game is like. I played it for quite some time, but I was already on a character. I was playing a character that was a level 80, which I guess is just there for the expo to show you what the game can give you and what you get at the end of the game or whatever, uh, end game. And yeah, they were just handing these out for free on their like desks next to the games. And basically it's a code that you could, if you enter into the game when you get the game, uh, which is free, so basically you download the game Dragon's Profit for free, make an account, sign up and everything. And then you enter a code on the back of this and then it gives you an exclusive Eurogamer Expo 2013 dragon, which is like a big blue dragon that flies around. It's pretty cool. And you can use them to like fight and be your companion in battle and fly around and stuff. So that was all the free stuff I got from Eurogamer Expo 2013. And uh, it was awesome, it was absolutely incredible. There was so much there was so much to do. It was just everything was just absolutely incredible. Like the Oculus Rift was just mind blowing. PlayStation, Warframe, all the stuff, Destiny, you know, the game. I'm probably going to make a series of this if I can, called Dragon's Prophet. That's a pretty awesome game. I'm going to try that out. Uh, Oculus Rift, I really want one of those now. Surgeon Simulator, obviously. All this sort of stuff. Everything. It's just awesome. And uh, yeah, if you go on my channel, um, if you go on my videos, you can see I've made a three or four minute video, uh, which is just a bunch of clips I recorded while I was at Eurogamer of everything that was there. like me walking through it and recording that and showing you like people in cosplay and stuff like that. There was this guy who was in this awesome zombie costume which had like a massive blade coming out of his chest and it just looked awesome. And uh, yeah, it was awesome. Awesome. How many times have I said awesome? I don't know, but it's awesome. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends, add it to your favourites, whatever you want to do. Just do it. It's awesome. Give me feedback. I would love it, you know. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you at Eurogamer Expo next year at 2014, because I promise you, it is amazing and so much fun, and there's so much to do. And I just kick the camera when I stretch my leg. Anyway, wait, wait, I'm going to stop now because I'm rambling. So yeah, goodbye, subscribe, and all that stuff. See you later. Bye-bye.